Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lidu here. This is my day 100 of season 15. Season 15, the healing season. Uh, wow. When I look back at all the videos and everything that happened the, one, the last 100 days, it's wow. Um, I was originally doing the season because I wanted to get rid of my Rosa Shia. Um, this is some... Uh, redness and some inflammation that I had on my skin that I still have a little bit um, and I wanted to attract an alternative method and a miracle method to just get rid of all of that and throughout the whole healing process I discovered that it has much to do with also where I was coming from and what had created that in the first place so I became a, I, I was going on this journey then of tracking back you know how did this happen? Why did it happen? And I was questioning myself and getting even more stress. And therefore, my whole face was becoming more and more inflammated. Um, and I've attracted some of the top teachers on an energetic level, magnetism, you name it, alternative medicine. Really met some amazing, amazing people. But my skin, there was no difference. And so I decided in the end to take... And now been taking it for two weeks antibiotics which has extremely helped my skin to to heal but in the meantime I have to say the whole journey uh, this very long journey because I had this Rosa Shia now for nearly a year and I still have it and it's and it's a lifelong disease but I've discovered so much about um, you know, myself my relationship to myself um, how much it was a conditional love that I had for how I looked, you know, how, how I appeared to others. So it was a very strong and important moment when I did this video during this challenge with no makeup on. And, uh, and I did this a few times. And I even participated in some seminars, like the one with Eric Pearl in Stockholm, without any makeup on. And showing my skin the way it was, and not being worried about other people judging me for how I look was a huge, huge moment. And it has created a lot of relief. It has created a lot of um, love, personal love that I didn't have for who I was beyond this physical body. I feel like I've connected more than ever to my soul, to my essence, to who I am. And I'm more confident. Now I feel more connected, definitely more connected, more in tune with my intuition, accepting accepting myself, but accepting others. Um, and I'm more centered. And now here I am, I moved to Chicago. Can you believe it? I'm back in Chicago following my dreams. And right now I'm in the additional process to have my dream job, which is to host a show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. There's as you can imagine, and as you know, nothing more that I want. So now it's about releasing and surrendering and letting go of, of, of all this. Um, but I, I'm going there, you know, with a sense of I know who I am and I know what I stand for. Um, and really coming back to Chicago, I really got present to how much growth has happened the past two years. Um, two years ago when I was living here on a permanent base, it was all about the car, it was all about the job, how much money, what I was wearing, and how much I was spending. And that was not a healthy lifestyle. That was not... Um, I wasn't real. And... Um, Looking at everything that I've gone through the past two years and um, the previous challenges, 100 day challenge, is really, really such a moment of wow, such a moment of grace and of gratitude for life. And now I feel so much more connected to who I am and to others, authentically wanting to make a difference, authentically standing in the world as a champion, authentically claiming who I am and, and not being as worried as before about how others are going to perceive that. 
Um, I'm more at ease with myself and confidence. Uh, I feel like I have this second chance, like America and Chicago is giving me a second chance to the American dream. So I'm going to give it fully. I'm going to give it all my heart in this edition. It is. It has started. And I decided to celebrate this day 100 of season 15 to choose to go to Atlanta, to drive down from Chicago to Atlanta and to audition in this free open call audition in Atlanta uh, for the Oprah Winfrey Network. I was not considering going down um, because I had already a video and because part of me was thinking, I'm not good enough. I'm not, you know, going to be able to pull this in 30 seconds. I'm going to have all those people and look at all those beautiful women and this and that. And this is not the world that I choose to live in. And I know that for now, as I'm opening up, I need to constantly reaffirm that and choose to live in a new paradigm. And so I choose today to live in this new paradigm. And my intention is to go down to Atlanta to this open call. And even if I get only 30 seconds to give it all, and it's not just even about those 30 seconds where I'll be in front of the camera pitching for what is what I have a deep desire in my heart for. But I will connect with marvelous people and it will be a fantastic adventure. And this is what I want to live. This is really what my spirit wants to live. And so I'm choosing today to do that and to give it all because I came to the U.S. for this. And I want to, you know, not miss one chance. Um, so I'll be driving down. It's about 10 or so hours to drive down to Atlanta. I'll be doing this with my friend Brian. Uh, that same Brian that had uh, introduced me to Oprah. Well, he had bumped into her in, in Chicago shortly. I arrived in here. Um, and because of him, then I met Oprah. We were in the audience. And now... You know, since 2006, I've been forever practicing and wanting this to happen. And now it's manifested. It's funny how how human beings were just like when it's in front of us. We're like, ah, I want to get out of here. Ah. But this is it. This is what, you know, I believe there's going to be some miracles. And I believe it's just going to feel right at home when I'm going to be there and uh, I'm going to be selected. So... My beautiful co-creator, this has been a magnificent season. I want to thank you for all the support. I don't think I have ever received that many comments in one season than this one. And support and all the votes. And next season is starting for me on June 27th. And that's going to be season 16. And I'm going to be doing my day one video from Atlanta because this is the same day where there's a second round of audition there if I'm selected. So I'll be doing it from there and uh, uploading it maybe on the 28th. But this is going to be the open heart again season. This is another season for the open heart where it's about fully embracing, opening up, receiving and just allowing all the universe to do its magic and to I want to be a channel for the divine you know I really want to just open up and trust that the universe knows what's best for me because I put it already all out there and so this is what I'm creating for next season I hope you can join and uh, I would love to share this journey with you I send you much much love my beautiful co-creator this is really magnificent and don't forget that you need to also act upon your dream it's not just about visualizing but it's about taking the actions that are aligned with your dreams and your feelings and your intentions and this is what i'm gonna do right now much love Mwah!